What is up YouTube? I'm excited today to announce my brand new whip. The key, got no push to start on it. Old school shit, really old. So I now present to you, 40. new truck not new to me not new to the world but very new to me this is for some reason I've been obsessed with like the 70s square body trucks and 1970 the truck I've wanted like my whole life I just remember seeing one when I was young and just like loving it and every time I see them now I'm like fuck that's so cool being here in Florida a lot of classic cars and dealerships so I've been searching for this pretty much since the Olympia when I was like bored in prep just like rummaging through the internet trying to find a truck because they're hard to find not covered in rust and whatnot and it's obviously not in perfect condition but that's kind of why you love it covered in scratches some dents but pretty much great condition the whole bottom frame rust free it's all brand new obviously it's super lifted and shit i might honestly lower it a little bit because i don't love the huge gap between here but it's an old 1978 ford f-150 lariat edition a real lariat not just a badge on it it's got a full exhaust big 460 ci big block engine in there on 37s lifted pretty damn high and this is a beauty i've been driving this pretty much every day now to replace the rebel but it's a hell of a daily driver interior fully original super beautiful the cream brown leather seats all that stuff drives like no other those movies you see when people are driving and they're like doing this and you're like this is so fake they're not driving this is literally how these old cars drive especially with 37s on it but it's amazing i love it so i show you guys what it sounds like it sounds beautifully hopefully calvin's mic fix it up it's not too loud but when i rev it it sounds good so it's a good mix <laughs> Pretty yeah, sure so, I what? blew my mic. What? Pretty sure I blew my mic. But really? It like it broke, you mean? Or? No, no. It just oh, it's just like loud. quiet? But yeah, this is a new whip, you know? There's lots of Raptors out there, the TRX, you know, beautiful truck. But I don't, personally, I don't think anything beats an old classic. So, for now, this is my baby. Probably going to do a little bit of work on it over some time. I'm not in love with the paint color. It looks better in person. A little too like metallic i really always wanted a two-tone one with like cream on the bottom and like a blue or a green like pastel on top type thing something that looks vintage still but it's damn beautiful and i love it as it is so this is the whip for now riding around in this but other than that me and calvin are going to the gym right now to work out it's still like rugged to you use this thing and it feels like everything is breaking and you drive around it's like these weird noises are clinking and clunking but it's just old as fuck so yeah but we're heading to the gym to train chest right now leaving work and this is my funnel because we're ghetto and like that and i was just gonna have some favage for pre but we just got in the new raw pump raspberry lemonade the stuff tastes absolutely amazing you know i'm very biased to my lemonade flavors so i'm mixing blackberry lemonade with raspberry lemonade pump for extra juicy pump you can't have too much of a pump on chest day Seriously though, this is almost like an overloading pump, but that's okay. Wow. You missed like all of it. Oh. That's the skill of my funnel use. We're gonna make raw funnels next. They're on the way, don't worry. I'm gonna add a little more to that. You gotta be upwind, Kelvin. There you go. Gotta get in the hole first, that's why. All right, yeah, so. That's the beauty of my truck, you know? Not gonna be really racing this thing, not gonna be taking her off road, but we're gonna be having a lot of fun driving down the road in it. I don't know why, but I feel like I have to listen to country when I'm driving this thing. Hip hop in it just doesn't sound the same. So, country music blaring in the stereo all day long. Also, uh, I wanna put in better speakers in it. It's got aftermarket speakers still, but they're still pretty shit to be honest. So, little fun things I'll be doing. I'll be keeping you guys along the journey, along me and 40, but this is the new whip. Super happy with it. That's all I got. I'll see you guys at the gym.
No one's as old as you. What? <laughs> Are you what? What movie is this from, Calvin? What? Little Rascals. All my Americans know. Canadians don't know what oh, Little Rascals. Oh, the Grinch. Little Rascals. How old do you know Little Rascals? Little Rascals. Never seen it. With alfalfa? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Never seen it. Bro, isn't Am I showing my age? Isn't alfalfa like a I'm 28. ingredient? A what? Isn't alfalfa like spirulina or something? Like one of those things? Spirulina? No. No. Oh. He thought it was like a green vegetable. Spirulina. No, well the alfalfa. Oh, that is a vegetable. Good job. That's what I thought. Alfalfa is? No, it's not. Sometimes sprout, I think. Oh. Get away. He's practicing what it's like to hold two trophies. I need two more hands. All right, so welcome to chest day, kids. This is my warm up. I've been doing these, whatever the hell you want to call these things. Two people showed me that. Mr. Matthew Berzicott, if you guys need a coach, hit him up too, I think. I think he takes fine. But him and my physical therapist, Jeff Hart, they told me to warm up my like rhomboids, scapula area, muscles, all that shit for my postural muscles to keep my, mu my shoulders back not my chest from falling forward and warming that up so I can keep it tight when I'm training chest. Because when my shoulder's fucked up right now, as my shoulder rolls forward, that's what puts the stress on my labrum where I tore it. So being able to keep my shoulders back and down helps me avoid pain. So that's how I'm trying to warm up. We're gonna do some dumbbell press. See if I can do 140 today. I'm not a weak bitch. And have fun. Do you think it's cheating to do a Bulgarian with both hands? Like this? Is that? Isn't that harder to do? I don't know, but my one arm can't hold the 45. So I must persevere. You're supposed to use straps. Yeah, bro. It's for the bitches. Real bitches don't use straps. I'm just kidding. If you use straps, I'm fucking with you. When you drive a classic truck now. I'm a country man now. This is the other thing I was told to do for my shoulder. It pins your shoulder blade back and down so you're stuck, locked in the position you're supposed to be in. And then you're just supposed to like keep it there and move it through a plane of motion up and side to side to warm it up. I 
if I'm the only one, but I can never, especially in this humidity. I can't breathe when I have headphones on. I feel like I always say that. When there's too much music in my ears, I can't breathe. I don't know if it makes sense. Probably not, but it's true. It's a fact. I breathe through my ears. What's next, Calvin? Clean jerks. Clean and jerk? 315? 405? Warm up? You have to be careful because weightlifters, we do things in kilos. So 315 is like 5, 6, okay, 200 six, kilos. That's like 469. 469? Is it 469 or do you just want to I think, say that I think so. I don't think we can get a 9 out of an even number times 2.2. So, next exercise, I like doing machine because finally I can push heavy without hurting my shoulder on dumbbells. So I'm still focusing on getting some stability, just like raw hard push because I still think there's really no replacement for free weight at 100%. But machines are still the go for bodybuilders, avoiding injuries, hypertrophy, all that good shit. So, trying to be strong over there. Only two working sets with the 140s. Hopefully get back to the 150s soon. And then I come over here and I'll do three sets, hopefully a little more volume, but really more focused on just really controlling, keeping the weight on my pec, moving slowly through the motion, which is a lot easier on a machine. about controlling negatives on chest day. No better feeling. All right, so we're moving on to the goat cable press right now. I've been doing this a lot lately because, again, my shoulder hurts, so any kind of flat press puts too much pressure on my shoulder, but the cable's pulling out and back and I can position my body a little differently. So I'm getting a combo of like a flat press with a fly on this machine and like little to no pain in the shoulder. So another bonus. So we're gonna be doing probably three sets of this again. Drop set on the last one and yeah.
wanted to finish with this. And I wanted to do the cable fly, the pec deck. But these motherfuckers took my machine, so you have to adapt, overcome, go with the flow, flow like water, sting like a butterfly. But yeah, so. Sting like a butterfly? Sting like a butterfly, flow like a bee. Right? No. That's how Chris Bumstead does it. But yeah, so I'm gonna do just two sets on here because I'm just gonna finish off with this. And then we're gonna bust out a bunch of reps on the pec deck, call it a day. That is a wrap on today's chest workout. It's amazing how like loosening up my shoulder a little bit. I've been getting some massage, needle, stretching, better warm up like I showed you a little at the beginning of this. Has really allowed me to have less pain in my shoulder and it engages my chest so much more. My mind muscle connection is getting so much more better now that I'm just like able to like move my shoulder from here back to here a little bit. It's still pretty fucked, but getting better. So super happy. I'm healing, getting better, getting stronger. I was only doing the 120 a few weeks ago on dumbbell press, so always moving forward. Won't be as far away away, but always got a lot of work to do because it will sneak up really fucking quick. And these motherfuckers that are younger than me are looking pretty crazy. They're growing fast, so I gotta grow fast. So let me wrap on today's video. Appreciate you guys watching. That raw pump drop, our next drop is May 18th. We'll get ready for that coming soon. Catch you in the next video.